Hello everyone, this is the Panda Photographer from 646studios.com and I want to talk about this particular topic on Petapixel's website and I want to clearly talk to you, the photographers out there that made this fatal mistake, destroying cameras and lenses without using the proper tools to capture the solar eclipse. Now I'm going to say this with my experience as a photographer for many years I'm going to say this highly, what a dickhead move. I'm sure that you guys did not use the appropriate ND filters and polarizers, I mean solar eclipse ND filters on top of your ND filters. I'm pretty sure that whoever rented these gear, this particular gear was not using the appropriate solar ND filters. Instead, they probably and most likely use ND filter on top of ND filter on top of ND filter to stop down the light. That's not how you capture the solar eclipse, buddy. We as photographers that create content here on YouTube provide you information six months in advance. You should have been prepared for this. This only happens when you don't use the appropriate tools to capture the solar eclipse. I, and I went out there myself and took photos of the solar eclipse and my camera is doing perfectly fine. Do you know why? That's because I used the appropriate solar ND filters on top of my ND filters. Alright? So, for those that rented that Nikon D500, the Canon 7D Mark II, and the Canon EF600 F4 Mark II, I'm pretty sure you guys were not using the appropriate solar ND filters. Now, lens rental pretty much probably has insurance for these lenses, but I think the, the photographer that rented this particular gear should have been responsible for the damage. Because look at the aperture blades on that for a second, on that 600mm lens, alright? Look at it very closely. That is due to user error not using the appropriate tools to capture the solar eclipse. Now, if you look up, you can see that there's a melting. That only happens when you are not using solar ND filters. And what happened to that 600mm F4 Canon lens? Look at that. And look at that. I'm sorry, but that's an amateur move to not use the appropriate gear and you know why i say this because this happened before in a previous long time ago okay people have reported that trying to capture the solar eclipse results into this damage to your cameras and your lenses but when you don't use the appropriate that's only if you don't use the appropriate tools. Now, if you use the proper tools, like I did, you wouldn't have a problem with it. But I feel like this needs to be addressed in some way to you amateur photographers. Do not half-ass skip instructions to order to think to get photos of the solar eclipse, okay? Even if you're doing video or you're taking photos, that wouldn't happen if you were using the proper tools to capture the solar eclipse. So with that said, always respect your fellow photographer that provides you information. I feel like a lot of these amateur photographers out here that didn't follow the information are the ones that are responsible on what happened to these camera bodies and lenses. With that said, the pen of photography here say don't be a dickhead and don't be a stupid just follow the rules and just follow the easy instruction. Don't be a cheapskate. Go out there and buy the appropriate gear. Follow me here on the social media at the Panda Photographer on Instagram. Follow me here on the YouTube channel here. Subscribe and hit that notification button. If you want to support this channel, hit the PayPal donation link in the description down below. And I will see you guys in the next video.